G'day mate and welcome to Satisfactory with me, Jenny. I know inside Satisfactory I'd like to duplicate items. There are definitely some items I'd love to duplicate. I think hard drives are right at the top of the list, but unfortunately you can't duplicate hard drives. But what the devs did do is they did let you duplicate some items. And I think the very, very next on my list is probably the power shards. The power shards do require you to go out and do some hunting to bring back some slugs to then normally handcraft some power shards. But before all you handcraft some power shards, I do recommend you invest in, well, possibly the advantage of being able to duplicate some power shards. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to talk about new alien technology, and that is uh, the production amplifier. Once this has been our research, you can use summer sloops to duplicate any item. So once that's been unlocked, we then have in every single assembler, constructor, manufacturer, a new little box down here, which is the output multiplier. So uh, rather than me taking in eight biomass and getting four solid biofuel, if I was to put sloop in there, I'd get eight. So it immediately doubles the production. It does have a couple of catches though, and this is what you're watching this video for, because if you're gonna be duplicating slugs, you really wanna make sure that you're doing it the right way. So uh, very first thing we need to do, make sure that we're gonna be doing the right recipe. Now, unfortunately, if I put in my sloop, we get an output multiplier of two, which means for every one slug in, I'm gonna get two power shards. But as you can see, the very first run of the recipe, I'm not gonna get that. So I need to prime the system. Uh, to prime the system, we're gonna run a very important recipe like leaves. Yeah, uh, which is normally 10 leaves in, five biomass out. But as soon as it's completed one craft, I'm now gonna get 10 out. Now, of course, with that done, I wanna change that back to our power shard recipe. And then I wanna put in my slugs. So we're gonna make sure that uh, you are loaded up with all 40 slugs, which are then gonna load in here. And then from there, load in there. And I should have any power shards at the other side. Uh, can I get this item deleted? No, okay, you can just go on the floor then. Uh, just so we have a clean count. I really wanna have a clean count for this, but uh, that's our first step. Now, there's one other catch with that, and that is if I just put a normal constructor right here, you normally use four megawatts worth of power. Because it has the summer sloop in there, it's now using 16 megawatts worth of power. Also, if we power shard this on top to make it run a little bit faster, uh, then it gets incredibly expensive when it comes to, well, the total amount of power draw. Uh, in fact, can I just borrow some of those for a minute? Uh, I'll borrow all 10, please. Uh, can I throw those in there, that in there, that in there, and fully crank you up? And then you're going to use 53.7 megawatts worth of power. You are going to chew through almost 20 slugs per minute and give me almost 40 power shards per minute. So it means that the, um, well, actually, they're already fed in the machine. Uh, the last 31 slugs are going to take me yeah, about a minute and a half. And I like that, we're all done. I do love how it says, uh, well, 95, 94, 93% efficient because, well, it's not running all the time. And with those pulled back out, uh, can I have back you, you, and you? I can now have, uh, well, 80 power shards for the 40 slugs I put in. Also means that if I search for slugs, zip, slugs inside my portal, uh, I can grab, well, uh, all the yellow ones first, all the purple ones second, second, thank you. And then obviously just change this recipe from our normal slugs to, well, the yellow slugs, which are already a one in, two out. It's now one in, four out. And of course, the purple slugs are normally uh, one in, five out. It's now gonna be one in, 10 out. So that's gonna give me a whole lot of slugs for, well, a relatively quick crafting time. Uh, sure, it does use an incredible amount of power when I spin it all the way up for a very short period, but as soon as it's done, it's done, and therefore it stops consuming power. But you know the other thing, the really other thing I'd really like to, well, duplicate, and that would be coupons. Coupons are one of those things that you tend to, well, especially if you want to unlock everything that's awesome in the awesome shop, you need a lot of coupons. So uh, let's talk about how we can duplicate coupons. But before I do that, if you like duplicating things, can I just ask you a quick favor? And that is, can I borrow a like on the video? I just like to borrow a like. I like to borrow a like in the video. Not happy with the video. Didn't enjoy the video. Well, that's entirely up to you. By all means, you can have your like back, but please don't duplicate anything on my behalf. All right, uh, over here, I need to prime the system. So we're gonna throw in some leaves. We're gonna throw in our sloop and we're gonna get you primed at least once to make sure we can get our better recipes. And then once you're primed, I'm going to change the recipe. And of course, hogs. Rather than putting in one hog and getting one protein, I'm going to be putting in, well, one hog and getting two proteins. So I'm going to throw 50 hogs in here, and uh, that should give me 100 protein. Can I throw in some power shards as well, just so I can speed this up? Uh, boom! Okay. 
Uh, so 50 hogs in, 100 protein. And of course, with 100 protein, can I run that into that box? 100 protein, I want to prime this one as well. Uh, this one is also going to need another sloop and another bunch of leaves. And then once you're primed, we're going to duplicate our resources again. So quick comment I do want to make is uh, on a constructor, which only has one item in, you need one sloop. On an assembler, which has two items in, you need to have two sloops. A manufacturer, which has four inputs, you need to have four sloops, and so on and so forth. Refineries? Refineries do have them. Uh, so do blenders. Uh, I think the only thing is the packager. The packager doesn't seem to take in sloops, but uh, you are oh, almost done. So, in theory, I should have, for my 50 hog remains in, 100 alien protein. For 100 alien protein, I should get uh, more speed. I should get... Hundred protein in, I should get 200 DNA capsules. Now, this is only going to craft 25 per minute, so it's going to take a little while to get this done. Uh, but in the meantime, over here, we should have, well, uh, 80 from our yellow slugs. Yep. And then, of course, I need to change the recipe over for the purple slugs. And pop. And we're going to be one slug in, 10 shards out, duplicated. I've only got about five slugs, uh, but that's still an awful lot of power shards for... A little bit of a use of my sloops. Now, there is one catch, and of course, that is the summer sloops. There's only about a hundred of them on the map, so it's something you need to be considerate of. There is very, very, very limited resource, and of course, you can't use a sloop to duplicate a sloop. If only things were possible. I mean, whilst over here, uh, well, you're going to take another minute or two, but you should be done fairly soon. And you've also finished processing, which means over here, I have gone from 50 hog remains normally into 50 DNA capsules. Instead, we went 50 hog remains into 100 protein and then 100 protein into 200 DNA capsules, which means when I plug this into here, we can see that this points is going to start skyrocketing very, very, very quickly. And that's just a couple of coupons ready to go. As we can see, the DNA points went through the roof uh, whilst they're being processed and... Uh, we had a, what was it, 78,000 points per minute and then another 116,000 points per minute. That's uh, an awful lot of points in a very quick succession. Also, at the same time, uh, well, you have finished duplicating all my purple slugs and now I only need to ask you down in the comments below, tell me, what are you going to be duplicating first? Are you going to be doing your power shards first or are you going to be doing your remains? Because, well, straight away i can feed whatever whatever other hogs i have into here and then into here you can do 25 per minute so i only need you to do 25 per minute which you're currently doing 100 uh, can i have that back that back and that back you're still running too fast uh can i cut you down to uh 12.5 no sorry not clock speed i want to change you to 12.5 per minute doubled which is 25 per minute it's going to cut down my power usage from 16 megawatts down to 8.6 megawatts. Sure, the other one's going to use a whole lot of power, but I really don't mind, as these machines are going to be running intermittently at best. Also means when I finish processing all my hogs, I can then swap the recipe over to deal with, you know, some hatches and some stingers and also some spitters. In fact, I think I permanently in my factory, I'm going to enjoy the purple smoke from a single machine that is constantly has a box in, a box out, and a sloop, and I'm just going to feed it every single time I swing past the base with whatever item I want to duplicate it this time. But with all that said and done, I'm going to leave this video here. As it down in the comment section below, tell me what are you really duplicating first? And don't forget, if you want to see more mm, satisfactory videos like this, by all means, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the very next video. All right, bye.